everyone, this is Miss Longley, and today we are going to continue on looking at the six threats to biodiversity using our acronym HIPCO. Today's letter is going to be population, and in order to do this, let's go ahead and pull out our graphic organizer. Locate the letter P, and it's going to be the first one in our graphic organizer. Let's get started. So this letter P stands for human population growth. As human populations increase, it has created several cascading effects. The human population has drastically increased in the last century alone. The first effect is that we as humans have consumed more and more natural resources, far more than our ecosystems can support in a year. So this includes water, crops, and clean air, and the list goes on. The next effect is that humans are contributing more and more to greenhouse gases. Think about when you drive your car, it releases gas. That gas contributes to carbon dioxide and methane buildup in the atmosphere. There's something called Earth Overshoot Day. Every year, it is projecting a day at which point humanity has already used up all the natural resources that the ecosystems have renewed in that year. It's becoming shorter and shorter every single year. So for 2020, there's a little bright note for this one. Uh, overshoot day was actually August 22nd. If you look two years prior in 2018, that was August 1st. So we extended it by 22 extra days, which is good, but the reason why, because of COVID. So if you look at over the last uh, 30 years, starting in 1990, we had used up all of our natural resources that the ecosystems can renew by December 7th. It should be by December 31st. As the years go on, populations are increasing. That overshoot day becomes closer and closer to January 1st. That is not good. So although 2020 had a little bit of a bright note with us using less and less resources and extending it by 22 days, we are continually to use more and more resources than our natural ecosystems can support. Here's kind of a cool graphic that shows what would happen if all of the world's populations lived like a particular country. So let's just start with the worst. So here we have Qatar. Qatar, by February 11th, if everyone used the amount of resources that Qatar used, we would be using all of our resources up by February 11th. That means that the remaining part of the year, we are borrowing from future years to support us and sustain our populations. The United States, if everyone lived like we do with using our resources, that would get us to March 14th, still not a lot better. But as you look further, let's pick uh, Nicaragua, for example. Their overshoot day is December 5th. So if the rest of the world lived like Nicaragua, we could last till December 5th using the resources that our ecosystems are giving us in that year. Quite astonishing. So the next thing that you're gonna be looking at is watching a video that will introduce you to the idea of the sixth mass extinction. In the, since the beginning, uh, there have been five documented periods that have been designated as mass extinctions. Basically, life on Earth has been wiped out in some way or another. We are currently living in the sixth mass extinction, and this video will talk about why. <laughs> 